I just want to again recap you. I just want to make you again uh, familiar with the terms that we'll use in the uh, chapter functions, all right? Um, let's say I have a function defined from, let's say, p to q uh, in a such a way that it's x squared plus 1, all right? And let's say I have a function, let's say, p, and I have another function, q, all right? Let's say here is 1, 2, 3. So when I'm talking about 1, you know, when I'll put uh, x as a 1, then I'll get 1 squared plus 1, that's 2. And when I'll put 2, then 2 squared plus 1, that's 5, all right? When I'll put 3, then it will be 3 squared plus 1, that's 10. And as I told you, there may be more possible, let's say here is 12, just for a while. And now let's learn this terms, all right, which is related with this. The first one here I want to tell you is the elements of this P, all right? So the set of elements of this P you know these all are called domain and the all the elements the set of the all elements of this q is called from uh, like it is defined from p to q so that's why we'll say this again codomain all right and which are related especially which are related like one is related with two uh, two is related with five three is related with ten so the, uh, the the set of you know two five and ten only this can be said a range all right so this is called range like uh, you put here 1 and you get here 2 so here this 2 is called image of 1 all right so that's why this 1 is called pre image so you can say uh, that range is a set of images all right so if you put 1 you'll get image 2 if you put 2 you'll get 5 if you put 3 you'll get 10 all right so so it's it's just say range as a image set of images all right and this function can be it can be represented like this also f of x equals to x square plus 1 somewhere you know f of x is written as y also and that equals to x square plus 1 these all are same 